Thank you very much for staying with me. I am more than excited to introduce another great Google feature to you. These are the circles. Circles are the easy way to organize with whom you communicate. For example, you may want to send your employees a message and your customers an update. You can send the two different messages to the two separate parties quickly and easily without ever leaving Google+. How convenient! Now, you may be asking, how do I access those circles? Easy. Let me take you back to the Google Plus page. Remember the profile button we clicked on earlier? That's the third button with the human image on it. It's right here. Right after that button. This button is the circles button. And true to its name, you can see the circles representing it. Okay, let's click on it. This is your circles page. Remember, you are supposed to use the circles to organize with whom you communicate. Therefore, we are talking about organizing groups of people, which could be your customers, your family, your friends, etc. Let's say you want to create a customer circle. To create that, you will need to put in information about your customers. You need to add each of them to the page. To do that, click Add a New Person. This is located at the left upper side of the page, right here. Now, type the customer's name or email address. Let's say the customer's name is John Smith. Type that. Customer John Smith is now added to your account. Every time you type in a customer's name or email, you will see a small rectangle for each of them as a matter of representation. With each of those entry represented by small rectangle, you need to organize them into groups. You need to sort them accordingly into circles. This is where you have to utilize the Create a New Circle button just below the rows of rectangles representing your entries. Customer John Smith is now added to this circle. However, you may add Customer John Smith to as many circles as you like because it is possible that your customer can be your personal friend as well. So the process is the same for all the other circles you want to create. Key in the person's information. Create or determine the circle where you want that person to go and drag the corresponding rectangle to the appropriate circle. You have organized the people with whom you want to communicate. While this is a simple process, we cannot undermine the power these circles have in improving your business. Let me discuss that power for you now. Circles are good for your business because they save you time and streamline your communication. A typical business owner will have the following circles. Customers. This is where you put all of your customers and send them emails about sales, new products, or special events at your business. Associates. This circle is for other business people with whom you network. Employees. Send important messages to the people who work hard for you. Friends. Keep this circle for people with whom you have some personal connection. Acquaintances. This is for people you don't know well, but who are potential customers or business associates. Do you remember how you can check to see how others see your Google Plus business profile? There is an equivalent accessibility and privacy management for the Circles feature. You can control which circles have access to the information you post on your profile page. For example, you may set it up so that your friends have access to your home address and phone number but your customers and employees do not. Google respects the privacy of its users, and Google makes it easy for you to control who gets access to what information. You may even have a circle with just one person in it. Perhaps you want a circle for your business partner. You now have a private way to communicate with that person without ever having to leave Google+. Facebook and Twitter do not allow for such privacy. This privacy and choice of with whom to communicate however, is exactly what Google Plus Circles accomplishes. Circles are convenient, easy to use, free, and a time saver. You no longer need to build email lists or switch accounts to communicate with different groups of people. As any business owner knows, if it saves you time, it helps you make money. That's the simplest way to put it. At this point, I believe that you have already appreciated this very powerful feature that only Google Plus can offer. After being able to create your account successfully, configuring your profile, and appreciating the powers of circles, you, my next video will introduce you to the Google Streams of Information. Good features spring eternal. So hang on. Another treat is coming your way.